I'll come back to allotment because it's just 23rd of um, July, I have to think then, July 2023 for you time travellers. We're in the greenhouse, it's raining outside. In another three quarters of an hour, I'll be working in the shop. All these shopkeepers have, um, can't be here today, so I said I'd step in for an hour. I put it on social media yesterday. I said, if you want out, be there between 11 and 12. If you're not, you've had it because I'm gone after that. I'll open the shop for them and let them get what they need and then um, I can get off and get the video up a bit later. So we've uh, we've been running all over this week. We had a trip up to Vent, Vent, Bent's, I'll show you that in a minute. We bought a few um, trays of uh, veg, I'll show you them and I'll tell you the reason why we bought them. Um, you're going to see me um, cutting the grass outside the front of my plot. You're going to see me doing a potato reveal. You're going to see me um, potting on these things which we got from Bent's, I'll say no more about that. And we've been collecting some more tomatoes in the greenhouse, I'll show you the tomatoes, what we've been collecting as well. And maybe, if we've got enough time at the end of the video, I'll show you what I've been wasting my money on this week. Um, not on the on the antiques fairs it, and the car boots, because it's been a washout. Uh, but we bought a few of these coin sets on eBay. We bought, f uh, we actually bought five sets, uh, three sets of um, proof sets and um, a couple of um, pre-decimal um, sets of nothing of consequence but we paid 20 quid for a lot and there's at least 40 quid worth of coins there so i thought we did all right and they're all proof sets so we've got a time at the end of the video i'll show you them so first things first things first we had a trip up to to bent so i went looking for um um the head of a um a hole to fit onto me um me wolf handle i've got a load of fittings and i brought me me wolf um um hole and i wanted another one and uh, there was some in there last when i went up last time but um unfortunately there wasn't any there this week i also went looking for some roses to fit on my water bottle so i've got more water um, like um little um watering cans for when i'm doing my, um, my seed sowing uh, they didn't have any of them. Um, you'll see what I bought later on in the video, but uh, we went in there looking for these things and we couldn't come out without buying something. But what you're going to see now is me having a walk around Bent's. So this is Bent's, it's absolutely massive. You're going to see some crazy things in, in the prices and, and some of the stuff, but it uh, is one of my favourite places to go for gardening stuff. So check this out and we'll be right back. Well oh guys, we're in vents. I'm just looking at the tools. These are the tools that I like to look at. We've got them all, most of them anyway. So this one I'm looking for. And it's not there. It's typical. It's like the um the tiller, the small tiller that I got with a pointy end. And uh, they do one but clearly <laughs> You ain't got one here. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, that's okay, 70 quid for that saw blade. Wow. That's that one there. Nope, you haven't got one. If he did, it'd be here. And it probably fits on that bloody rail there. Oh well. Well, we come to see if we can find one. Sadly, we ain't got any. Let's go and have a look outside, eh? I'm gonna have to be cool with me and me filming as well because don't people just know I'm not filming. Well, we've got a good selection of seeds, that's for sure. However, we don't need seeds. Got hundreds of them. What we do need is like these little roses what fit on bottles, on a normal bottle. And this is where they would be. And unfortunately, we haven't got any.
Ooh. Clear cloches. I was looking for some of these um, a few months ago. Anyway, I've got I've got four of them now, so I don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> You see them when you when you don't need them and when you you know you're struggling to get them. You can't find the buggers. Look, look at them, there's a pile of them there. How much are they? Twelve ninety nine with twenty percent off. So the just over ten quid. Oh my god. Forty five quid. I can only um, think this one's even dearer. I can't see the the the, the price on it, but it's not going to be much cheaper, is it? This is Bent's underneath the glass part. Lots of flowers everywhere. The only trouble with these flowers, they're only going to last for a few days, then they die. What you want are the ones that are like this. See that one there, what's got no flowers on it? There's the ones what you want. You don't want these ones because they only last 10 minutes. So the tip is make sure you get them without the flowers on, but with, with uh, buds. flowers lavender no smell to it unfortunately blue spear I've got that's what I've got in my allotment again looking for bergamot these are all herbs here I'm going to turn the camera off for 10 minutes, guys, and I'm going to have a, have a scurry around and see what I can find. If I get anything, I'll, I'll let you see at the end, but it's not looking good. You've got parsley, dill, you've got um, mint. Time sage, I've got all these. The only thing I haven't got is bergamot. Tarragon. Yeah, we've got tarragon. Oregano. Even got borage. But no bloody bergamot. It's like Lose, lose. Anyway, that's, this is where we are. We're in, we're in Bents. This is the outside where they got all the fruit trees. Not exactly cheap these trees, neither. Price on some of these things: fifty quid. Everything, every one of them, are all like fifty pound each. Yeah. A few of them are blown over. Some crazy prices in here for stuff. Jesus. Look at this thing here, nine and a half thousand pound. All the European numer, I can't even pronounce that. Bonsai, that's what it is. Nine and a half thousand pound. I'll soon have a car. 
It's a bit windy. Anyway, I'm going back inside. So let's just a quick look around. Just show you a few things. Can be very expensive here. Well, you can get your bargain. Don't get me wrong. It's not um, it's not too dear. Dinosaurs over there. Feed them for kids. You also have greenhouses. What you can buy, but some of the greenhouses you can buy bloody house at the price of them. All these shrubs there. These roses. Oh, this way I come to buy the map flowers. It's not exactly cheap neither. Like 25 quid each, these buggers. Thinking of getting buying one of these. Back in the day, me, uh, me old fella had uh, had one. It was like three times the size of this. This is basically what was an old Victorian one. Thirteen grand, this one. You get fifteen percent off it. But yeah, they had a big. Well, it was like three times the length for this, with um, with actually eating inside it. Probably can see me from my me, soul. These greenhouses, bloody hell, 2,000. Two look at this one. A grand and a half, and look at the size of it. Three grand. But this one will be about six or seven. Nope, no price on it. This one right there, the greenhouses. Uh, like I say, dinosaurs there. A bit of a theme park. And yeah, all these different colored aces there. Big one of these in my um, in my back garden. It's that thirty-two quid. The one I've got in the garden's ten times bigger than this. Beautiful. Well, we've got enough pots on there. Right. Anyway, I'm going back inside, guys. So that's a quick. Quick walk around um, Bents, get the combo, the different compost there. God knows how much they're going to cost. I thought I'd spend half an hour just walking around, having a look, see what they've got. Staff are quite nice in here as well. One in particular, she knows who she is. She watches my videos. <laughs> I said I try and make the videos a bit short, a bit what, a bit shorter. They do drag on for a while. But uh, yeah, anyway. So I'll see you later, guys. I'm going back in here now. Last look. It is a big place, Bents. I 
absolutely awesome. So uh, yeah, the um, the bonsai tree. Wow, the bigger one on the roundabout as you go into Bents. It's their tree. It must be worth twenty thousand pound. That tree. They, they cover it up every year. I'm just waiting for the day when someone hits it with in, um, with a truck or something, just drives straight over the roundabout and hits it. But yeah, twenty, so fourteen grand. Some of them, absolutely crazy price. Well, actually, eight grand, twelve grand. Um, some of the prices on them trees. I mean, the greenhouses. Wow, the price of the greenhouses. See them greenhouses. Well, my father had one three times bigger than that one. What was fourteen grand in the back garden? Um, we lived in a. There was four townhouses connected to. Uh, there was a be a pub called the Royal. It used to also it changed its name to the Flat Iron. Now. Not a lot of people know, but I was brought up on Anki Park. Now, Anki Park was probably one of the most deprived parts of the UK. Um, just off Ellis Street was a, a, a street called Church Street, and I lived in one of these four mansionous houses, the second one along. And the back garden was what the um, where the market used to be. They turned the, the my get the garden into the market. That's how big the, the garden was. It was as big as the market. Um, now, if you go on to Salford Precinct and you look at Lidl, the garden finishes at the end of the Lidl and the the width, this is how big these, these four gardens were. And there was a, there was a, I think it was about 10 foot high um, brick wall all the way around the perimeter. Just like the um, the Victorian Country Garden, have you ever watched um, um, watched that? It was a fantastic series. Um, Sean um, James Cameron uh, did a, a few videos on it. Absolutely wonderful um, place. But uh, yeah, it was just like that. The garden and it had these massive greenhouses. My dad had these two massive greenhouses, which was three times the size of the one what you saw there, and it had central eating in it and everything back in the day so yeah brought a few memories when i saw that greenhouse there but um yeah we we ended up buying a few plants now you're going to see me planting these plants now i've got to tell you it was 15 minutes of torture and i thought why should i suffer and everyone else get away with it now normally this video would hit the um hit the the cutting room floor uh and I wouldn't have put it in, I would have worked around it um, somehow, but because I'm trying to keep consistency with the with the, the with what I'm putting into the beds, you needed to see what I've been potting on. So I had no choice but to, to, to make this video. And you might find it funny, but I can't tell you guys, it was a tough it was a tough 15 minutes. So check this out and this is what we've uh, been potting on. Well guys um the trip up to bents uh, i actually bought some um they call kamazuna f1 callington's um and what we'll do i've got these big pots here and uh, what we're going to do is uh transplant them into these pots and um, until we've got some space in the in the bed so like I said I've got some compost clover multi-purpose compost here and it's just a matter of popping them out and sticking them in really right Killing me, buttercup. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> this got really complicated, guys. Okay, so there's the first one. Second one. You're going to stay there, aren't you? Hey?
Yep, she's there for the long haul. I think we'll call this section planting along with buttercup. No room, have I? What? Hey, you can see him busy. Hey? Eh? Do you want to help? Hey? Eh? I love how she thinks she's helping. You're getting covered in muck. What? You, you're there. Covering myself in all sorts of muck here. Might help if I do that. Yeah, we'll get these planted out soon. She's killing me, guys. Well guys, this is the last one. So there we got eight. Camastuna F1 Callingtons. That's what they are. I think I better leave that in there, aren't I, for now? So we know what they are. You're killing me, kid. I've got another another tray to do yet. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to just put an old to this for a sec until I can get rid of Buttercup. And then uh, we'll crack on with the next, next lot. Oh dear, bloody old buttercup, you're driving me crazy. No, you're not helping, but cup.
Oi, how about there? Hey, right, you sit there. Don't go back in the tray. Oh, for God's sake, Buttercup. What are you doing? Hey? You got your tails all covered in muck. I give up. I give up with you. Don't sit in the dirt like look. Right, jump down there. Go on. Oh, you're gonna fall. You are a pain in my backside. You know what, guys? I give up. So we've got these perpetual uh, spinach we're going to be putting in here. These are what we got um, from, um, oh god, what's the store called? Bent's. And uh, yeah, at the moment, I've got my number one fan and she's driving me crazy. Putting them into these um, four inch pots using the clover multi purpose. Buttercup, stop wiggling. <laughs> you got your head jammed in there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Just doing my head in, guys. Oi. So this is a uh, perpetual spinach that I'm, I'm trying to pot on. Feel the rain starting to come now. I've got bloody buttercup glued to my leg. Once these root in, um, that's when I'm going to plant them outside.
Right, last one of these uh, perpetual spinach. We're done. Well, guys, I didn't get much uh, help there from Buttercup, did I? And it's starting to rain now. What is it every time I finish something, it rains? So, um, yeah, these perpetual spinach, what we bought from Bent's, I'm, I'm just going to leave the label in here so we know what they are. Uh, I won't leave it there, obviously, but I'm going to clean the tray up and we'll find somewhere to put these and just leave them to tick along until we're ready to to put them into the beds. I'm gonna put the compost away now. I'm gonna try and get rid of buttercup off my knee while I do it and uh, we'll be good to go once it's all gone. But yeah, we've got uh, the perpetual spinach and we've got this um, Camus Duma F1 Callington. It's a Japanese um, like um, pak choy. So yeah. That's what we got there. Right, it's definitely starting to, to come down heavy with the rain, so up we get. Oh, I'm trying to get up, you bugger. Jump down there. Oh, God. Oh. What a pain in the backside you are, eh? Leave her there for now. So we've uh, put the spinach and the, the Japanese um, like a pat choy sort of thing in. Camera Stuma uh, F1 Callington's uh, in there. Yeah, we got them from um, um, Bent's. I couldn't go in there without buying some and what I went in there for they didn't have so we come out with uh, these. So anyway, I've got the labels in there, that's what they are. Uh, we'll still find somewhere to stick them in shortly. Right, I'm going to get out of the rain. Buttercup's getting drenched here, along with me, because she's following me. <laughs> Driving me nuts, she is, guys. But yeah, these are all going to be left in here for a while. We'll let them get a little about, about another four inches tall, and then we'll stick them out. Yeah, so, uh draw me insane. And she does it all the time. A um, lot, lot of the videos that I do end up uh, with Buttercup being cut out. <laughs> Because she's she's a, her headings in everything, and um, she she literally drives me uh, insane sometimes. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you that one. It's quite funny why she just doesn't move, and I'm not going to force her out of the way. But uh, wow, working with animals and children, who would have believed it? Working with buttercup. But uh, yeah, she's a darling at the end of the day. Anyway, them plants are in the back greenhouse. We'll be planting them out shortly. Um, we was, like I say, we're in here now. I was picking some tomatoes out of here the other day. Let me show you what we got. Well, guys, we're in the uh, the middle greenhouse. I'm just gonna, I'm just picking some tomatoes here. I'm gonna get a bag full of them. I've got loads of them. Loads of uh, and black Russians there. Alicante there. Elsie Craig over there. Money makers here. Um, these ones are San Marino, and there's a few others in here. It's raining outside. Really, really it's horrible weather. I know we can't go out, can we, Buttercup? And you can't come on me knee. No, because I'm busy. I'm bit. You can't come on me knee. I've got a bag here, and uh, I'm going to pick some tomatoes. Right. Chop chop, go sit over there. She just wants to play, doesn't she? You're wet. You're wet all the way through. You're soaking wet. Yeah, you are. She loves her being tickled under her chin. She loves this. She's a pain. Alright, can I get on? <laughs> can I get on with it now? Go and eat some more dinner. Go and have some dinner. Go and have a drink of water over there. Eh? 
you like. I'll get home in a bit and I have to do this to the two bloody dogs. If she was a dog, she'd be sat on my knee in the in the front room. Unfortunately, um, both my girls are allergic to cat hair and um, it makes them really ill. Otherwise, she'd be there. Get rid of them two girls getting married off and uh, you can come and come live with me, can't you? Hey? Yeah, we'll have to find them some boyfriends. <laughs> yep. Oh well, I'm going to get on with the picking these off here, so I'll see you in a bit guys. So these are them San Marino here, eh? uh, quite nice tomatoes. Butter Cook's decided to get out of my way while I get a few of these tomatoes uh, picked up. And uh, we're filling the bag nicely at the moment. I've got lots of these uh, tomatoes. I'm looking for Blossom and Rock. Oh, I did see some, I just can't see... But can't find it when you want to find a bit of blossom and rot you can't find it which is quite annoying i want to show you what it looks like but yeah the, we ain't got none unfortunately i think i just picked the odd, the odd there was a couple of them with a bit of it on oh, a few more tomatoes there what we need to pick i wonder where did they just snap off like that and in they go into the bag here you can see lots of these tomatoes, every but look at the size of these buggers here. Absolutely wonderful. I don't know what I've done with my bag. Oops, over here. We'll get some of these um black Russians in a minute. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna come back when I've got a few more. Um, I'm gonna take them all. Ah, I found some Blossom M Rot, guys. I knew I, I saw one. Right, this is Blossom M Rot. There you go. That's not very nice. But that's one of them anyway. That's not bad out of a. Uh, well, this this app's literally thousands of them. Uh, let's leave that outside there for now. Dispose of that in a bit. But yeah, that's uh, that's only one. Um, one out of all these tomatoes. Right, she's in the bloody way, isn't she? I need to get to them tomatoes here. Oh, one's just what I just broken one off. That's a bit silly. Like I say, these are all perfect. So I think we've got enough uh, tomatoes for now, um, like I say, the San Marino's here, um, these Black Russians, there's a, a mix of Gardener's Delight, Elsie Craig and um, Alicante in that bag. Uh, there's quite a few in there. Didn't they but a cup? Eh? <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's pinched my bloody chair. Lady of the Manor. She's been guarding me um, tomatoes for me for the last um, three months. She's done a cracking job, haven't you, eh? Eh? You definitely have. So I just put these into a into a box. It's better in a box than in a bag. And um, like I say, you got this uh, San Marino, Black Russian, Elsie Craig, Alicante, Moneymaker. Uh, Gardener's Delight, uh, there's six different varieties of uh, tomato in here. We've still got absolutely hundreds, <laughs> literally hundreds everywhere you look in the greenhouse. Same on this side. Put a cup stuff in her face. Black Russians are over there. But um, if you look up here, we've got uh, we've got tomatoes everywhere. Got some really monstrous ones in the back there. Um, if you can see them, get that leaf out of the way. They're called uh, beef steak. One's here, Alicante. 
Alicante. Anyway, that's what we're taking today. I'll give them to friends and family. And um, I think they'll thank me for them. Six of them in Asda, uh, £1.50. And that's the, the cheap, nasty ones, the money maker. God knows what these cost and what them cost, but they're not cheap these days. So, yeah, we ended up with quite a few tomatoes there. I mean, we had the San Marino, we had the um, Black Russian, um, we had the Alicante, Elsie Craig, Moneymaker, Gardener's Delight. We still got just in the back there the, um, the beef steak. And you've probably seen them all in the video, but um, yeah, we had a quite a selection there. Now, we've already had took a, a, a tray home like that. And um, when I take them, when I took them home, she said, What are we going to do with all them? So, I've got friends, got family. Get giving them out <laughs> so yeah she gives some of them out they're still old there and i swear to god guys we picked all these uh and they've all gone ready these are just i think i might have to take the um the banana skins out of here because that's what's turning them really fast to to red um, and we got hundreds everywhere you look it's literally everywhere i'm looking it's just hundreds of tomatoes and um yeah, we're going to get sick of them pretty quickly. Anyway, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is um, me cutting the grass outside on the, the front of the allotments. Now, I'm the chairman and uh, you've got to um, set an example and, um, you know, you, you, you can't tell others to tidy the plots and cut in front of the, do the, do in front of the plots if you're not doing it. Now, I tore a muscle in my shoulder. I should have. I should really go into get it sorted. I've not done it yet, but um, that's another story. Um, but you're going to see me um, cutting the grass. I was only going to um, initially do the just the front of my plot, and then it turned into the plot either side. We would have gone further up, but um, Rick had his car parked right in the way, so it was a good excuse to knock it on the head. Otherwise, if it wouldn't have been there, I would have gone further. So Tracy said, blame Rick, you didn't get your grass cut, you the front of your greenhouse cut. I don't know. So here it comes guys, this is me cutting the grass and I'll show you my little, um, little echo strimmer at the end of well, it. Well today I'm going to uh, cut in front of me plot here. Oh God, put cups there. I've only just got here. So I'm going to do in front of me plot. If I've got enough time, I do the one up further up and the one behind me. But uh, yeah, my car's here, I've just moved my car up, so I'll probably do up to the greenhouse there. And that's about as far as I'm going to go. However, I say I'm not well, so I've got a, a really bad shoulder. I've um, got a tear in the muscle, so um, we're just going to do this here first. Do my own, and then if I've got enough time, I do, I do a couple more for people. And... Um, yeah, it shouldn't take me no time at all. I've just got to get the strimmer started and it's the, the arm that I pull a bloody cord with. It's the one which is buggered, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get the strimmer working and get it started and then we'll, we'll have at it. So I might even put a mask on for this one and change me, put my green pants on so, so I don't get covered in muck. Right, I set the camera up and we'll be right back. Thank you. 
guys that was emotional um, like I said I've done plot either side of me um, would have probably gone up further but there's a car there so that just stops me doing it so anyway um, in front of me plot jobs are good and all the grass is nice and cut it looks lovely and um, like I say me, um, me echoes made short work of it <sighs> that's a uh, job done for another six weeks well guys I've just just sat down after doing that strim in the front of the plot now I'm just finished using this little echo here it's absolute fantastic little bit of kit yeah I've just sat down and buttercups jumped on me now I've just at least managed to take them green pants off and brush myself down and uh, clean the clean the strim I'll be putting it away as soon as it um, cools down I'll be putting the bags around the top and the bottom and taking it home I never take, never leave this on the allotments um, it's an absolute fantastic find this if I could find another one I'd buy it I'd buy it. wouldn't even bother I'd just pay the money I mean I paid £20 for this they're about 200, 200 and odd quid um, now I've had about 18, 19 strimmers and this one's lasted longer and all the others put together so it is, it is a nice little bit of kit anyway I've, I've done the done the um, in front of me plot and I've done either side so I think it's uh, I think it deserve a sit down here with Buttercup so I'm going to chillax for, for a minute or two and um, I'll see you in a moment so yeah make short work of that um, the the the, the um, start on it started to get a bit dodgy i might have to replace it and i was looking for a replacement and it's like 60 quid just for the um the cord the thing what pulls at the gear so um if i can buy another one like that i'll buy it um that's what i'm looking for another one of them echo um strimmers absolutely fantastic really light and they make short work of everything anyway we've done it We're leading by example um, the next job I'm going to show you is me um, doing a potato reveal. Ooh, first one of the year. I did two reveal. I did. I did the car will job. I did two buckets, but you're only going to see me doing the one because I didn't turn the camera for the third one. We're always doing stupid things like that. But before we could cut the sp before we could do the spuds, we had to cut the tops off the spuds, which was leaning over onto the path. It was doing that that I noticed we've got the light on the potatoes, so we will be taking all the tops off all the potatoes and stacking them and racking them um, in the next episode so you're going to see me doing that but unfortunately they, they've, they've got blight so you're going to see me doing one one bucket now and you're going to see me cutting the trimming the the tops off these potatoes so we can get up the path to get the, the potatoes so check this out and we'll be right back well today i'm going to um take in all the tops off these potatoes what have fallen on the path now the potatoes are all dying back now so what I'm thinking of doing is taking all the tops off them all the potatoes and um, stacking the buckets so I've got a bag at the side of me and um, what I'm going to do once I've cleared the path I'm going to grab one of the buckets out down at the other end and we're going to do a reveal and see what we what, what potatoes we've got so um, I've got my scissors I'm going to cut my way down the path we'll clear all that away first I'm just going to go and get my wheelbarrow I'll get everything set up and we'll do a potato reveal so first things first I'm going to clear the path so with that let's crack on
Gee. Come on, what the fuck? What's going on here? Stupid. Right, so these are Wilger, and uh, I'm just uh, going to take the tops off them now. I actually think I've got blight on these potatoes unfortunately um, but I will tip them up anyway and we'll see what we've got uh, I've got a bag somewhere I did have a bag it's in my pocket here right so I'll tip the bucket out and see if we've got any potatoes I can see a few got a small one in there Let's get some of these potatoes, that's a seed potato. So these are the potatoes. They're not looking too bad. But uh, I think I've got, actually got blight on the potatoes and that's, uh, that's ne never good. There's a lot of small potatoes in here. Got to get all these tiny ones out as well, unfortunately. Trust me to pick a time to be doing this when someone's um, actually got the lawnmower going. I think that's all the potatoes in here. Oh, hang on, there's one or two more. state in a ring I don't know right. so let's see what we've got here let's hope I've got the camera turned on as well so these are will turn it on it should automatically go to pounds there we go put new batteries in these so they are working properly right uh, lift it up and uh, it comes to three and a half pound so that's what we ended up with three and a half pound of wilger I say the uh, potatoes themselves look like they've got a bit of blight on them yeah there's buttercup She's keeping out of the way at the moment. But yeah, three and a half pound. Can't grumble at that. Right. I'm gonna get this bucket, this wheelbarrow tidied up. And um, clean up around here and then we're away. I have to get take I will be taking all the tops off the potatoes. Like I say, it looks like they've got blight on them. Um, they're all dying back so yeah I end up and what I'm gonna do is take all the, the tops off eventually in the next week and we're gonna stack all the buckets 
and then let the the pumpkin um, spread out so that's what we're gonna do but yeah we've got three and a half pound of spuds there tip them out into the air tip them out into the barrel there we go first reveal three and a half pound of wilger so there are these um, wilger uh, potatoes I actually did another bucket and uh, the, the weight come to seven pound seven ounces so there's about three f the first bucket was three and a half pound the, 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 the second bucket was just a little bit bigger unfortunately I didn't record it but yeah that's the weight I've been getting out of the buckets so it's not too bad and uh, like I say a nice bag of spuds there so good result for the first uh, first reveal and um, you know they're about, about right size really and they will be going it they will be used tonight for me tea and um, them and um, some sirloin chops I think I think that's the the order of the day and some mint sauce yum yum yeah the first one was uh, three and a half pound this the second weight um, which we did was uh, just over four pounds so we ended up with seven seven and a half pound of spuds out two buckets it's not bad I, I mean I, I I've seen a lot worse on 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 um, on YouTube of these buckets, so it's it's you know, the fair 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 weight, I suppose. I mean, I've had fourteen, fifteen pound bags of spuds out of these buckets over the years, but it is what it is, and I'm quite happy to get what I've got. I mean, they they did clean up really well. I mean, there was no blight um there was no sign of blight or there was no sign of um scab or anything like that it was perfect really i should have washed them and shown you but the next lot i get next lot i do i'll show you i'll give them a clean and show you absolutely perfect and we will take the top yeah top anyway as well. i've got to get over to the shop now i get this video up a bit later on um do the editing get it up um put a cups fast asleep here outside and uh, and um what well, if I sneak out of here now and I don't disturb her, she won't come over my either of me in the shop. So I'm gonna get out and get the video up a bit later. So I hope you enjoyed the video by the way. And um it's now better than letting people suffer along with you, especially with buttercup anyway. I swing the camera down so you can see you might be able to see her from this angle, I don't know. She's just here, let me show you. There she is fast asleep on the compost no she's definitely breathing guys <laughs> i'll leave you with that picture bye for now <laughs>